Hello, everybody, and welcome in for another episode of Walk Up Confidential, brought to you by the great people at KnoxvilleSmiles.com. Coming up tonight on the show, we have transfers Jermod McCoy and Holden Stays, but before we bring them in, we bring in Will Crockett of the Volunteer Club, and Will... SEC tournament's over. We're turning our attention to the NCAA tournament, which means March Madness, which means a new location for getting together with those volunteer club members. Got to be on the lookout for that location. Yeah, so we're going to travel with the balls as far as they go. So uh, regardless of the location, the round, we're going to be there. Uh, as soon as we know uh, what we're doing, we will make sure to get that out to all ball fans. Baseball, big weekend obviously coming up um, You know, this weekend. Uh, SEC tournaments or SEC plays in full swing, which means a chance to get together for those baseball games. You know, watch the balls, watch Tony Vitello and, and that group that's playing really good baseball, which is a fun time as the weather has already turned, but really started to turn headed to spring. Yeah, so we are really fortunate that we have a porch at baseball, so we try to get our, our members out for that. They're a great time. You're out there a lot with us, so people can come and meet you and then just happen to watch a baseball game as well. Uh, but additionally, we have a lot of good members that give us uh, tickets. You know, to midweek games, if they live out of town, they can't make it. They send us tickets. We want to do our best to get those into ball club members' hands. So, you know, each week in the newsletter, we're sending out uh, a link to, if you want to try to make it to a game, you can't find tickets, let us know. We can't guarantee anything, but we will always do our best to make sure that we can help out where we can. To the newest Vols headed into spring practice, Jermod McCoy, Holden Stay. Spring practice starts today, and that means... It's football time, basketball time, and baseball time all at the same time, which means it's a great time on Rocky Top. But before we get to Holden Stays and Jermon McCoy, more on Knoxville Smiles. The folks at Knoxville Smiles would like to invite you to visit their website at KnoxvilleSmiles.com to meet their amazing team and learn about their incredible services they provide in their state-of-the-art facility. All right, guys, you guys have been here, uh, you know, just a couple of months now. What, what have you enjoyed about your first couple of months here? I think it's a lot more to do from where, when I was in Oregon State. Like, it's just a bunch more out here, like, I feel like for me to do. And then, like, the facilities, like, it's just, I think it's more accessible. Like, it's like we got a bunch of nutrition stuff, like, the field open all the time. Like, it's just, I'm always able to, like, do something, get some work in or, like, just go chill. What about you? Yeah, similar to what Jamal said, uh, there wasn't a lot going on up in South Bend. So just being here and being closer to home because I'm from Atlanta, uh, it's been really cool, you know, be able to go home sometimes on the weekend, see my family, you know, work out with my trainer from back home. That's been good. And then Knoxville itself has been great. Um, like I said, the Southern hospitality has been really good. Um, I like where I stay. Um, just being close to, you know, Gay Street, downtown Knoxville has been a really good vibe so far. So I'm enjoying it. We go back to when you went in the portal. You visited here first, yes, and then you took more visits. Yep. And I think, you know, a lot of times when a kid visits somewhere and then ends up not committing, everybody goes, well, probably not going to get that kid. Mm-hmm. But you, you kind of always had Tennessee at the top. You decided to keep just, just going and double-check, triple check make sure. Um, the more you took those visits, how much did it solidify kind of what you knew leaving that weekend? Yeah, like you said, leaving the weekend, I felt really confident with Tennessee. I think just the conversations I had with my parents as I entered the portal was making other visits. I was really telling them the whole time, like, I have so many good options. Like, I kind of just wanted to cross my cross my T's down my eyes. So, you know, I left Tennessee. I felt really good about it. And if my options weren't so good, I probably would have committed on spot. But, you know, I had Washington, you know, really wanted to get me. And they were in the playoff at the time. So I was like, I got to check them out. And then, obviously, Georgia and what they offered, I had to check them out. But even after seeing those schools, I still didn't think it was enough um, compared to what Tennessee had to offer. So after I took those visits, I knew, like, all right, it was a great, you know, opportunity to see those schools. But go with Tennessee. And then you kind of had other plans. You were going to take more visits. And, you know, you went ahead and you didn't even have anything set up. And Coach Martinez kind of called and, and, and yeah. got you all. And you all, like, the next day, you were, like, on a flight out here. Yeah. I mean, that thing was a whirlwind for you. All right. So I was going to – I think uh, the day – the day he called me, I was going to go to TCU the next day. And then Coach Martinez called me. I was like, okay, I mean, Tennessee over TCU. I'm going to go check them out. And they had, and you, you, your dad and Coach Martinez had like a bunch of different like common people, right? Isn't that right? Uh, I don't think so. 
But, I mean, they had a good conversation in the car. Like, they was just, like, just a long conversation, just good stuff they were talking about. What did you learn most uh, about your teammates, your new teammates? Because it's kind of a different different yeah. world of college football now with just, you know, you know, you guys left. You know, let's say a year from now you guys are still here. You're going to have new teammates that come in from out of the portal. It's it's just different, right? I mean, Brew was you know, coming out of the portal for you guys. Hendon was here out of the portal. Um adjusting to new teammates how what's that like uh i think it's been a transition for sure you know it's never easy you know leaving your teammates uh at your other school um you know you still talk to those guys but you want to come to your new school and you know cultivate new relationships stuff like that so i think it's been great so far i think everybody's you know embraced the new guys with you know open arms and just you know realizing you know we're all here to help each other get to the ultimate goal which is you know get tennessee a national championship and stuff like that so i think you know these weeks right now leading up to spring ball where you just you know with your team basically you know in workouts Monday through Friday, that's the time where you bond and, you know, get right with the guys, you know, before we start putting the pads on and stuff like that. So spring ball starts today. What are you looking forward to most out of these 15 practices? For me personally, just getting back on the field, you know, it's been, you know, over two months since I played because I didn't go through any bowl practices or whatnot. Um, so I'm just excited to put the pads back on and, you know, see what it's like, you know, playing in a new school, playing against SEC competition. You know, that's all you hear about in terms of, you know, when you commit to an SEC school, like, oh, the competition could be different. And I, I'm, I'm assuming it will be. So I'm just, you know, excited to see how I stack up, you know, get, you know, acclimated within the new offense because obviously the Coach Hypo offense is very different than what I'm used to. <laughs> yeah. So just getting comfortable in that, but also knowing at the same time, you know, I, I know who I am as a player and I know I'm, a, you know, be successful out on the field. So just coming in with confidence and going out and showing everybody what I can do. You? Yeah, I feel the same way. Like, I just want to, like, make a name for myself to, like, show everybody, like, I'm here, like, to, like, we all trying to win. Just trying to, like, just really just make a name for myself. What is your goal in spring practice? I, I know oh, one. Of, I know for one for you is 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 about getting the pacing and the tempo because yeah. McCallan talked about that after the bowl game that you had kind of came to him and said, "How long did it take you?" You know, sure. and he said at the end of spring. Yeah. You know, so like, w what are some goals that you have besides that, and what are your goals? I gotta get like, oh, I gotta get a bunch of picks. Like, I gotta make a. I feel like like. When I make plays, I just have like way more fun just playing a game, and like it just it just makes it more fun. And then like it's just just making plays. I think a big thing for me is just coming in day one and not trying to you know feel it out, see what it's about. Like just coming in day one, and be like, all right, like you know, I got I'm here for a reason. You know, I was the recruit I was out of the portal for a reason. So just going out there and showing that. Um, and like you said, you know, getting acclimated with the offense the first few days. But, you know, after, you know, the first few practices are done and I'm like, all right, I've, I figured out the tempo. I know what it is. You know, just going out there and playing my game, showing, you know, the down, downfield threat that I am, you know, getting after in the run game, stuff like that. And just really putting on film, you know, the all-around tight end that I can be. Did you go? To, did you come to any Tennessee games in high school? I did not, no. But so Tennessee, you've never seen Nealon live? I've never seen Nealon live, no. Have you looked at much? Have you, have you, have you kind of looked at videos trying to kind of get a feel for be, it? Everybody be telling us about it, how it's just crazy. So yeah. that's something I'm looking forward to. For sure. Seeing it. Well, of course, this season's going to be different because you kind of start like with a lesser opponent, you know. Not that the, the atmosphere changes a ton, yeah. but it does get more hype for like a big game, right? Right. Um, and then you got neutral side game, another – lesser then you go on the road for two sec games before you kind of come home for that gauntlet of florida bama mm -hmm. and those games it'll be just popping right yeah um what what have what have you learned about tennessee the place the 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 history of the program you know you know what i mean like have, have you ever have you just sit around you know kind of learn things something that i've learned is like the fans are all in like they're like dedicated to tennessee like it's kind of crazy like the fan base here like it's is is big, like bigger than you would think. Yeah, I've noticed that even going to some of the basketball games. I think you realize that um, what Ma was saying. Like, there's no other teams in Knoxville. Like Tennessee's the show. So all the fans, like he said, are all in. Um, and you know, looking forward to Neyland Stadium. I know it's gonna be crazy. I know it's gonna be electric. Um, and the hype we have around the team, um, you know, is well deserved. But we got to go out there and put on a show for them. I know hype doesn't necessarily hand out permanent numbers till the fall. Uh, so what you wear in the spring doesn't necessarily mean that's what you'll wear in the fall. But uh, you guys kind of angling to keep the same numbers you had at the previous stop, or do you want a new number? I think I'm going to get three. So you want three? Yeah. I'm planning on earn, earning 13, but yeah. yeah we but so you want the same number? Yes, sir. Yeah. Is that is that is that always been your number? Did you make the high school? Uh, in high school, I actually wore 44, um, which is kind of like a – 
defense and tight end number at our school. Sure. Um, a previous player, Truman Jones, who's now with the Chiefs, wore that number, and then he graduated and passed it on to me, so I wore that in high school. But 13 has always been a lucky number for my family. Um, it's just a family number that I've always just, you know, drawn to, been drawn to. What goals do you have just overall? And I don't even mean, like, on the field. Like, just what do you hope to accomplish both here in life? You know, what what kind of – what kind of gets you guys going? What, what gets the engine revving? I would say uh, football aside, um, I'm interested in broadcasting. So I think, you know, a big thing for me, especially being at a huge school like Tennessee that has such a big brand, um, is just networking and, you know, getting in front of people um, and just, you know, doing that side of my passion. Um, that's something that I'm interested in outside of football. And then also just like my faith, growing my faith more and more. Um, I've gotten a close to some guys on the team that are interested in that as well and just you know talking about jesus and stuff like that so continue to grow my relationship and my faith with um with the lord is something that i'm passionate about as well um and then on the football side obviously just coming here and you know helping tennessee be the best team we can be and then personal goals you know being one of the best tight ends in the conference you know translating that to in the country and then you know seeing where the nfl lies in after that uh, I kind of say the same thing, like the networking part and like keeping God first for sure. And then like just as far as networking, like I'm trying to like like at the end of all of this, like I kind of want to be in like real estate. Like I want to sell like big houses and then like on the field, I'm trying to be like all American again. I'm trying to get uh like all SEC, just like the like just big awards. All right. You want to go into broadcasting? You've got the voice for it. But you got to smile more. Yes, sir. You're so serious. <laughs> We're brought to you by Knoxville Smiles. So what makes you smile? Scoring touchdowns, hanging out with my family, and waking up from a nap. Waking up from a nap? Yeah. Are you a nap guy? Big nap guy. Big nap guy. What makes you smile? Uh, my family. Like, when they come to see me, like, because, like, you know, they're out in Texas 11 hours away. When I see them, put a big smile on my face. Just see the fam. It's always bigger in Texas. Right, yeah. <laughs> it's also always bigger at Knoxville Smiles, and here's more from the dentistry that you need to see for your dentistry needs. Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Malone. You know, people ask me all the time about digital technology and how it affects dentistry. We'd like to show you what that means here in the office. So dentists used to have technicians that they worked with everything analog. Today we do it all digital. Also, digital technology helps us with clear aligners so we can straighten your teeth here in the office. If we can help you with your dental needs, look us up at KnoxvilleSmiles.com. So once you got to campus, what stood out about Knoxville? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're here on the visit. You go see all these different things, right? And, you know, it, 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 it'll go show you the best parts. Once you got here and you kind of got to walk around and yeah. you're a student, like, what have you found that you like? Where do you go every day? Like, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. For me, just – being at a way bigger school has been kind of like just a different experience, but it's been cool. Um, Notre Dame was like 8,000 students. So coming here, I don't know how many students are at UT, but it's a lot more than that. So just walking to class and seeing how many people are on campus, stuff like that, um, it's been cool. Uh, I would say just a part of campus that I enjoy is just being like on the bridge that you see from the vault walk. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a cool spot just to hang out in between classes, whatnot, just catch a vibe. Um, so yeah, I would say that. Honestly, I'm not on campus too much because, like, I don't have any, like, in-person class. Like, all my classes are online. So, like, I'll go to I'll go to Thornton a little bit. I mean, but, like, I don't feel like I've just seen all of campus yet. But, like, I like the uh, the uh, Cumberland, like, yeah. the little strip. I feel like I like that, uh, the little plug dance store. They got a little shoe store and uh, clothes and stuff. I I've been there a few times. Have any of your teammates taken you to some good place to eat that you really have – become like oh, i gotta go back there not on campus I, in tennessee no, no it can be off campus yeah. i'm talking about all it can be off just knoxville general we went to this place called uh i think it was called connor's yeah like, they Down had, turkey like, creek yeah they had like uh the seafood and steak that place was i i, I enjoyed that it was good i haven't found a go-to place yet in knoxville so we got any recommendations where, where, where'd abe take the tight ends at abe's oh i couldn't tell you it was it's by the team hotel it was downtown Okay, but it was it was just. But y'all okay. have a smaller room, so you can you know like yeah. the like DBs. There's like, yeah, like 30. thirty of you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, what have you enjoyed about your 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 new coaches Abe and then of course Coach Car Coach Martinez? 
Yeah. Uh, I've enjoyed Coach Abe's a lot. He was a he was a big piece in you know me coming to Tennessee. Um, I told the story before, but he was the first coach to come and see me up in South Bend when I entered my name in the portal. So I feel like we you know started a good relationship just off the bat through that, and then you know the visit um, just continued to build that. And then since I've been here, um, I've enjoyed his energy. That was a big part. Like I just felt like he had good energy as a coach, and that's something you want to be around since you're with your coaches every day. Um, and you know the thing I've noticed from him is just you know he is a very like you know, just soft-spoken demeanor, and that's just kind of who he is as a person. But his coaching is very detailed. You know exactly what he wants from you when you step on the field. Um, if you make a mistake, he's not going to yell at you. He's just going to say, hey, do this to correct it. Um, and he expects, you know, the best out of us, and that's, you know, what you want in the coach. So it's been great so far. Uh, I think with Martinez, I like how he's – uh like he really tries to, like, make sure, like, we're a good person, like, on and off the field. Like, uh, every meeting will normally start off with, like, some personal stuff or, like, the standard that we have in a room and just trying to uphold the standard. And, like, he'll, he, I think it's just, like, he's – hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me run that back. Or I'm going to add on to what I said. It's okay. Keep adding. Yeah. I think, like, just overall, he just wants us to be a good human being and just, like – just be the best player on off the field. I'm going to assume both of you guys opted in on NCAA. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't want to be a part of the uh, – right. besides Arch Manning? Who doesn't want right. to be a part of the – I wonder the, why he did that. I don't know either. Um, what is a fair what, – what what rating would would you get where you won't be like, oh, that's ridiculous? You know what I mean? Like what what's mm. fair? I feel like – I already know they're going to be stingy with the ratings. Like, they are, unless yeah. you're not a top guy, like, the, the, you're going to get disrespected regardless. So I would say, I, like, an 82, but I feel like that's even shooting too high. So I'll say a 78. If I'm if I'm a 78 or above, I'm cool. I feel like with me, I got to be – like, I feel like I made some plays. Like, I feel like they should be able to give me a good overall, like, an 80. Like, I think, I think I'm deserving of an 80, but I know they're going to, like – like give like they're gonna do some crazy and give everybody like what they probably aren't or what they don't want to be, but right. it is what it is. You're, you're the first day, or you? I mean, of course, you guys are get, get the thing sent to you, but like, yeah. you, I assume you all go get it before it uh, it comes out. Is how, how's that gonna work? I think they just send it to us, like you said. But whenever I get it, I'm playing playing with Tennessee off rip and throwing the ball to me every time. So yeah, <laughs> first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna probably boost my ratings. <laughs> Boost my radiance, play with myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you two went against each other in practice, is it a total mismatch just because the size? Uh, no. I, I mean, I held tight ends. Like, I when they in that when they in that nub set, I got a hold y'all. <laughs> okay, okay. But look, I'm gonna be real though. It's only routes that the, a tight end gonna run out of that. From what I've had to guard is like a out or a dig. That's good films. That's good film set. He's right about that. It's one of the two. Yeah. So you just anticipate one. Yeah. But, yeah. I would say in a one on one set, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a yeah. mismatch for sure. But if he can scheme it based <laughs> off the formation, like he said, he, it's like there's only so many routes a tight end is gonna run out of right. a nub set or you know a bunch set something like that. Last year's transfer group, you know, um, Omar Omar Lot, Dante Thornton, those guys all kind of got you know they were all kind of close because they came in together, right? Yeah. Is that kind of how it is for you guys, or is it? Have you gravitated more towards your position group or somebody else on the team that you've really kind of jived with? I think it for me, it's kind of both. Like I, the guys I came in with, we're all tight, and then I'm tight with all the DBs. I mean, I mean, like I'm cool with the receivers, the quarterbacks. Like I'm really practice cool with hasn't everybody. started till today, the there, big guy. That's yeah. why you're cool with the receivers. Yeah, I feel like everybody is not at spring ball. Like spring ball is here, we all kind of start talking trash to each other a little bit. So. When spring, like when we had a first practice, well, uh, people start making enemies. Who's the best trash talker on this team? I'm not sure yet. Not I ain't sure. just got into that yet. I ain't really seen it. You got to see to it. You not seen it. Boo talk a little trash out there? Uh, I haven't. You haven't? Mm -mm. I think right now we all kind of like, we not really talking trash because we still trying to just learn everything sure. and make sure we got it down before we started talking. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. How much do you look forward to the I guess these first few days or, you know, you're out there in T-shirts and shorts, right? Yeah. Once you can get the pads on, like just to just to get them on again, right? Because, yeah, as you said, it's been a few months mm -hmm. and same thing for you. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. 
like it's just when you get that feeling, put the pads on, you know it just feels good. Like oh, I get to go hit somebody or I get to go make some plays. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited too. I think spring ball sometimes you can kind of you know take it for granted because sure. you're not playing the game. But you know going out to practice, especially for us, like we're in a new environment. So every time we step on the field, it's kind of like we got something to prove. We want to show our coaches what we're about, show our teammates what we're about. So I think there's definitely gonna be a different aura, you know, once we put the pads on. LeBron or Jordan? Man, it's easy for me, LeBron. <laughs> I'm Jordan. <laughs> I'm Jordan. We didn't gain on it this week. The totals went up for both. Currently, it's Jordan. I think like ten to seven or something like that. I forget what it is. Either way, you know, it's our it's our weekly debate here. Yeah. What's, what's your pick? It's Jordan. You gonna say Jordan? Because yeah, older. But, the game older, but but you have to understand, I watch both. So what's your take? My take is uh, LeBron is the 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 better all around player. Okay. But when you put the intangibles that LeBron doesn't have, cutthroat, undefeated, you start rocking up defensive player of the year. LeBron doesn't have that. Mm-hmm. Scoring titles. All that stuff. That scoring titles are relevant because LeBron has the most points of all time. Correct. He's been playing for such a long you can't, time. You can't, that, that's LeBron's you, best feat is he's that just, he stayed injury free. Minus, he's yeah. just trying to play with his son. It's just going to keep going up. He he's not trying LeBron. to just play with his son. He's still averaging 30 points in year 20. So it's, mm. if he was trying to play with his son and he was averaging six points a game, you could make that argument. But he's still a top 10 player in the NBA. My favorite, my favorite LeBron was when he went back to Cleveland and won. For sure. Yeah. I did, I, you know, going to Miami and cherry picking a couple of guys and going on one and one doesn't do much for me just like when kevin durant went to the warriors sir he had to go to he had to go and join up with guys my thing is though people say lebron started it when he didn't the celtics were a thing before no no, right he went to 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 counteract that correct Mm -hmm. that's correct yeah yeah and people always want to say jordan six and oh but what about all those years where jordan was getting taken out in the first round people just seem to forget about that think about the teams lebron went up against with no help kevin durant Lost to the Warriors. This is true. Then he said, all right, I'm going to go play with Steph, Clay Thompson, and Draymond Green, which was already a 73-9 and team before Kevin Durant joined them. Now LeBron is playing against them without Kyrie Irving. Jordan didn't have to do that. No, Jordan didn't. Did, have you, have you, how many Hall of Famers did Jordan play with? Two, for sure. Two, that's right. For certain. And I'm not saying LeBron lost him. LeBron lost some titles he should have won. That's correct. He, he shouldn't have lost many in Miami. But I think the ring, I think the ring debate um, is a little lopsided sometimes because people forget Jordan was getting taken out the first round a lot before he got to the finals. By against the Boston Celtics, the Larry Bird, and the Pistons. With back then, you couldn't even go to the paint, bro. Bro, basketball. I'm not saying basketball back then wasn't good because it was it was it was different, but. Basketball now is is better than it was back then. It's different basketball. It's we gotta get you together with Mayshack. See, Mayshack is passionate. Pa- the other side, LeBron, so like they have those two guys go back and forth about this. LeBron's my idol, so I'm passionate about this. Uh, I can I could go with this all day. I, the thing I respect about LeBron is married with kids. Never no no off the field shenanigans. Never. Um, you know, and again longevity for sure. Longevity. But he does want to play with his kid. Uh, That's true. He's still good. But he's still wrong. dominating. I agree. No, no, hundred percent. But yeah. I mean, like, you know, the passion is to to be King Griffey Senior and King Griffey Junior. For right? sure. You yeah. know, you may have to wait a little longer on that. I'm not sure. Bronny's ready yet. Yeah. We'll see. What have you enjoyed about the the basketball team here on, on you know, keeping up with the basketball team? I mean, have you guys been to many of the games since you got here? Yeah, I've been to a few. Yeah. I think. Uh, was it number three? Don't I connect. Do some stuff I ain't never seen in person. Yeah. Like, it's kind of crazy. They just kind of just be throwing it up sometimes, and they just fall in. You'd be like, dang. Is that why you want number three? You want to just help it <laughs> go from osmosis from the basketball to the nah. football jersey? <laughs> it would be like that, though. Did you wear 23 because of Jordan? No, nah, they just gave me that okay. number. That's a good number to just get. Yeah. It is. I But, I mean, like, he's, he was over here passionate about it, so that's why yeah. I, I didn't know. Yeah. What about you? You, you, you big basketball guy? I'm a huge basketball guy. But, yeah, it's been cool to, you know, have a such a dominant team. Um, and I know, like, our baseball team is really good, too. So, yeah. just having the fans excited about a sport, you know, every season I think is really cool because, like, our basketball team is probably going to make up a big run. Same thing with baseball. And then as soon as baseball season's over, it's going to be time for football. So, I think the fans are just going to be excited, you know, for every sport, 
year out. What do you guys like to do when football isn't isn't available, right? Like, do you have any you know hobbies? You know, do you you? I, I assume you're gamers, but I mean, like, you know, are you playing any other sports? You like, you know, do those things? Yeah, I like just playing basketball in the free time. Yeah. So, Coach Hype probably not gonna like that. But yeah, James Pierce said the same thing. <laughs> Playing basketball, um, I'm a big movie guy, so I love just you know watching movies. Even if I've seen the movie ten times, I know it's gonna be good. I'll watch it again. What's your go-to movie? Go-to movies probably American Sniper, or I Am Legend by Will Smith. Like, what's my go-to movie? No, what's your what's your what's your hobbies? Uh, I'll be playing the game and I'll play uh I hoop a little bit. I'll be trying to. I don't be trying to do people too bad on the court because it gets serious when I get on the court. <laughs> I, yeah, like he said, Coach Hype ain't going to like that. But I, when I get on the court, I turn into like a, a hooper. Like I'll be doing some crazy stuff. What's your player comp? My player comp? Like what, what would be my build? Like who do you play like in the league? I play – no, no, no. I play like Rob Dillingham. Okay. That's that's a random player comp, but it's good. I'm just saying, I play like Rob Dillingham, bro. I wasn't ready for What's that. What's your player comp? My player comp, I, I, I would say I'm a mix of both. Like, LeBron, just like my playmaking ability. Like, if you play on my team, you're going you gonna to get yours because I'm going to get you involved. But if the game needs to be taken over, I would say, like, I got like an Anthony Edwards mentality. Like, I'm just going to get a bucket regardless. Do you wish you played for somebody besides Minnesota? No, nah, I think Minnesota's cool. Like, not much going on there. So like they've had a really nice year. Yeah, like it's it, weird. Like when you look at the standings in the NBA, by the way, it's like you know all these teams that have kind of been like eh, OKC okay, are really good, yeah. and then like all the teams that are like the seventh, eighth seed are like you know like legit teams, right? Yeah. If you weren't playing football, what sport would it be? Not named basketball. Uh, baseball. Baseball. I was picking. It was really like, like coming to college, I was either going to pick baseball or uh, football. Like I was probably going like, I don't know. My dad, he went wherever I went to college. He wanted me to uh, play baseball too, but I didn't want to like be a dual sport because like I just really just wanted to focus on one. What'd you play? What, what position did you play? Uh, I played center field, and then I played a little bit of middle infield. So, will you, will you get into going to the UT baseball games? Like, what, is that something like you have interest in doing? Yeah, I probably will once they start getting into like the uh, SEC play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's murdering people right now. I know. Just throttling them. Yeah. With this big homestand. Um, what game on the schedule has kind of got you guys excited? Like when you look at the schedule. For us or for the baseball team? No, no, for, for football. Us. That's easy for me, Georgia. Yeah. Like just being from Georgia, going to play in uh, Sanford Stadium. It's going to be pretty cool. I would have, I'm probably going to have a ton of family there. And then I've never even been to a game in Sanford Stadium, which is kind of crazy. But that game is going to be rocking. Um, so it's going to be the biggest game of the year probably. I would say just the Georgia Bama game, just because of who they are. Just, I feel like those are the games where you really can like show people who you are and what you can do. Well, I respect both of those. Yeah, I, I like that they didn't say the first one because I mean, you know, I mean, like as a kid, like it's natural to look and yeah. you know get up for the big game, right? Yeah, you know, for sure. But a coach would tell you, well, I just keep the first one. You know. I think the Oklahoma games though it's gonna be pretty crazy. It is too. first SEC game on yeah. the road. On the road, hype's returned to Norman. Yeah, like you said, Coach Hype played there, and that's definitely gonna be a crazy atmosphere. Yeah, I think. I, I think Nico and the quarterback over there are the same. Year. Yeah, that's right. It's gonna be like a Jackson Arnold head-to-head matchup for them for sure. Well, yeah, I'm sure you guys have seen pictures of Nealon where they where they checker Nealon, right? Yeah. You know, where yeah. they yeah. Tennessee got that from when they played at Oklahoma in 2014. They stripe it out there, uh-huh. so it's not a checker. It's just you know. They've they been checkering it since 2014, 2015. Yeah, Dang, that's crazy. Yeah, no, the OU game. Uh, me and my friend, he go to uh, Taylor Tatum. You know Ta- uh, Taylor? Yeah, he the running back that's going there. Uh, we we he played. I played baseball with him. Like we grew up together just playing, but we already been talking about that game. Just like talking about, I told him I'm gonna like flip him and all. He told me he gonna truck me, but. Yeah, we gonna see. Yeah, how much does the competitiveness kind of come out? You know, with your, with your, when it, especially when it's your buddy. I feel like when it's my buddy, when we both on the field, it's not my buddy no more. Like we buddies after the game. Like we talk, like take pictures after the game and all that. But when we on the field, they ain't really no buddies. Sucks. Yeah, like when you're on the field, if you're not on my team, 
can't rock with you. Um, yeah. So <laughs> after the game, yeah, we can be cool. But how much uh, when you transfer? What do you do with your old gear? I kept mine. Man. I had some good stuff. I can't lie. Like I had a bunch of stuff, or I, I gave some to my family and stuff. Gave it to people back from my high school, but I kept uh, most of my stuff. I gave a bunch of stuff to my brother because he works out all the time, so he can just work out with it. And then I just got it stored in my room. Yeah. It won't be touched. But yeah. Do you have jerseys from there, both places? Yeah, yeah. I did. I did frame a few helmet. jerseys. No, nope, I couldn't get the helmet. Yeah, they said you can't get it until you graduate, so I didn't graduate. But I did frame a few jerseys just that had meaning behind them, so I got those. So that was cool. Yeah, me too. I got a jersey, got framed. All right, we'll get you out of here on this one. A perfect year individually for both you guys is what? Uh, you got it. I need to have six plus picks. Two of them got to be a pick six. And then, man, let me see. I f- yeah, that's really what I need. I got to have that. I would say for me, the goal is 40 catches, 500 plus yards, six touchdowns, and want to have, you know, 85 or above blocking great. And who knows? If you do all that, your rating a year from now in NCAA, maybe, <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe more in line with what you guys want to get it to. For sure. Well, guys, man, we appreciate y'all coming out and, uh, Enjoy spring practice, and I know Tennessee fans are excited to, uh, you know, to have you guys here, and excited to uh, see what you guys got uh, come uh, the fall. Thank you for having us. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. All right, whenever you guys come in.